Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here. It's summer now and it's really hot outside and I feel like the hotter it gets the less I feel like doing my makeup and I was just trying to stick with something simple and easy and quick so that's what I did today. So sorry if it's boring but it's super easy to do, really easy to recreate and I think it's perfect for summer, nice and glowy and bright and colorful and yeah so I hope that you enjoy if you want to see how to get this look just keep watching so I'm gonna be starting off my face using my cover effects blurring primer I just recently got this in a boxy charm and I've been trying it out and so far I really like it I definitely think that it actually fills in my pores and blurs them a little bit and I feel like it does give my skin an overall smoother look and then I'm setting my face using a setting spray from Wet n Wild and I've been doing this a lot lately before I put my foundation on just because I feel like it gives more moisture to my skin and I feel like my skin has been a little bit dry. Plus it helps my foundation last longer. And then with my foundation today I'm going to be adding a couple of drops of a liquid bronzer just to make my foundation just a little bit darker because I have like the tiniest little bit of a tan, not much, but I just wanted my foundation just to be a little bit darker. But I still feel like my face looked a little bit lighter than my neck and if you notice that as well It's just because I have like the last remnants of a spray tan on my neck that hasn't quite come off It's come off everywhere else, but for whatever reason it wants to stay on my neck. So uh, Yeah, but it didn't look as weird in person. I promise And then I'm highlighting my face using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because that is my favorite concealer of all time And that's what I'll be using to conceal my under eyes as well And whenever I blend out my under eye concealer, I always like to just put a little bit on my lids as well, just to give a nice base for eyeshadow. I, I use a concealer now in place of um, eyeshadow primer just because I, I feel like it works just the same and it's convenient, so that's what I've been doing. And my cats were seriously all up in my video, so yeah, they'll be in here a lot. Just, <laughs> just warning you. They love it when I film, I don't know why. So I'm setting my under eyes using my Wet n Wild powder and I'm also placing this wherever I put concealer. So I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows but I spared you the tediousness of it except for the shot that my cat decided to ruin again. Uh, but yeah, so once they're done then I'm moving on to my bronzer which I'm using my Benefit Hula bronzer and I'm just going to be contouring and warming up my face with this same old same old I put a little bit on my neck as well just because I felt like my face was just a little bit lighter than my neck. And then for blush, I use my Milani Baked Blush in the color Luminoso. This seriously is one of my favorite blushes ever. I used to use it all the time. I think I mentioned this in another, another video already. I forgot about it and I've been using it like nonstop ever since and I just love it. It's just the perfect like peachy shade and it adds just a little bit of luminosity to your cheeks and I love it. But uh, after I did that, I went ahead and used my Beauty Blender just to go over my blush and my bronzer and just to make sure that there were no harsh lines and just to make sure everything blended together nicely. And then my other cat decided to join the party. Okay, so I got this highlighter finally. I've been wanting this for a long time and I finally got it. It's ColourPop um, Highlighter in, the, in Flexitarian. And this highlighter is so wonderful. I love it. It definitely works better if you put it on with your finger, so that's how I like to apply it. It's kind of like a mousse, um, like it's not really, it's not a powder, it doesn't really work with a brush, but it's not a cream, I don't know, it's hard to describe, but it works best with your finger, and it's like one of those ones where you can make it blinding if you want, um, but also it can look pretty natural too. Um, but then to add just a little bit more something something, I decided to go over the tops of my cheekbones using my Ofra highlight in the color Rodeo Drive. It's like the prettiest light gold. A lot of golds are too dark for my skin tone. This one's like a light gold, so it's not. It's just, oh, it's so perfect. I love it. 
so I just kind of added that over the top of everything and then I went over everything once again with my beauty blender just because I like to make sure that everything like melts I like to sort of press it into my skin just to make sure that it melts right into my skin nicely so that's what I did and for my eyes I'm gonna be using my dream straight palette which is a color pop in Kathleen lights palette and I'm going to start off with the shade magical it's like the light tan and I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and I'm blending that all over into my crease and I didn't want to be too precise with this at all I just wanted to buff it all in there and get it all get it all up in my crease <laughs> Then I'm going back with uh, that darker tan shade, it's called Shooting Star, and I'm taking the same fluffy brush and I'm just putting this directly where I put the last color and a little bit further down onto my lid. Um, and again, I'm not being too precise with this, I just wanted to kind of go over the top and make it a little bit deeper. And so yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm taking the highlighter that I used to highlight my face, the Ofra Rodeo Drive. And this is what I'm going to be putting all over my lid. So I'm just taking my finger because I feel like shimmery shades always work best with my finger. And I'm going to be putting that all over my lid. And then I'm just blending out the edges of that just uh, so there's no harsh lines. And then, you know, my cat just decided to join me yet again. So I'm taking that darker tan shade, the Shooting Star, and I'm putting that underneath my lash line, just buffing this under there. And I wanted it to be a little bit smoky, so I'm just kind of slapping it on. <laughs> uh, but I wanted it to be a little bit um, warmer. So I took my bronzer, the Hula Bronzer, and I just went back over all of everything with the Hula Bronzer just to give it a little bit more warmth. And I feel like that's what it needed, so. Yeah, and then I'm cleaning up a little bit around the edges and I decided to add a little bit more of the Rodeo Drive just because I had lost a little bit with blending. So I'm going to go back over that. Then I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone using the same thing, the Rodeo Drive. And I'm also going to use this to highlight my inner corners. Then I went ahead and did my mascara off camera so you didn't have to see it. And I also went ahead and lined my lips using a red lip liner that I have because my lipstick today is bright and I like using liners when I'm working with bright colors. And so, yeah. This is the finished look. I, oh, and I forgot. I finished off with setting spray again just to make sure that everything looks nice and natural. And yeah, so here it is. The finished look. And that completes today's video, so thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. Um, again, it was just something super simple and easy and perfect for summer. And thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I'll see you next time. Bye!